Hello, John Dilworth here. We are we have a big uh, a big video today. Lots to go over. It's Monday, and Monday is Socrates Day. It's Socrates Monday. Hello, I'm Socrates. What have you to say today? Well, knowledge is to know the nature of being. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Now get out of here. What? I've never been so insulted. <sighs> well, that's Socrates for you. You never understand what he's saying. That's why he doesn't come on the show that often. So today, we are going to do scene 11. Scene 11 is uh, this scene right here. Jim and Jane are looking at their apparatchik. And Jane, she is filled with some kind of uh, romance for Jim. And she puts his, her arms over him. And then she brings him down. So what's interesting about this scene is the first uh, scene of some challenge for me. Because uh, it's two characters moving at, uh, well, at the same time. But she's taking the lead. And this is how I went about it. I'm reusing, this is the apparatchik overlay, right? That doesn't move much. So I'm reusing Jane's drawing from scene five. And I'm going to animate her first because she's the lead. So there's Jim. He's there for position only. I'm just going to have him there for position only. And Jen, I'm just going to focus on Jane. So Jane is going to put her arms around him. And I'm just going to ha go ahead and animate this while well, I have already. I just was so excited to show you these roughs. So she's going to put her arms around him. And again, I'm leaving Jim in just for position. And her arm goes around. And yeah, here is this one. This is the front arm. I just made, I just made it go around, around. And then the other arm is going the opposite way. And there she has. Her arms are around Jim. Just like that. So this is the lead. And now she's going to head down. She's going to go downwards. She wants to, well, she wants to get cozy with Jim. So she's going to lean back. Actually fall back. Lay back. Lay down. And I wanted to show you this process of how I went about doing this. I didn't animate the two of them together because the two of them together were not working equally. She is leading and it's by her actions that Jim will uh, move to. And so she's leaving frame. Now that I have her, it gets kind of interesting. That's that first drawing. I'll put that down here. This is a reuse, so we don't have to re-ink that and recolor it. It's very simple, standard stuff. So here she's beginning to make her move. This is the first arm. This is the arm that's in front right here. I hope you can see this. This is the front arm. This one is going to be behind him. We'll cut this. During, uh, when we're inking, when we're cleaning this up, it will cut off right there. And we won't see that. We can even do that now. But it's good to know how the hand is moving, so I like to draw everything at once. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I will be using... Here's B. Here's B. Oh. This is B. So Jim feels her moving, of course. And he begins to move. So he moves just like that. So now he's moving. Oh, I shouldn't have taken this down. Let's take a look at this. I want to get ahead of myself here. So he... Can we see that? Yeah, I guess he can. Well, he, he just goes up. Look at that. Because, well... He recognizes she's moving. So there she is. And now I'm able to draw Jim on another layer. 
because I'm going to put it on top so you can see it. And he is responding to her. So this arm is already over him, you can see, right here. I'm going to take these down. I'll sort that out later. But I just thought that it would be interesting to see how I went about doing this. And now she's over him. She's got one arm around his shoulder. I'll put that there. She's got his, her arm around his neck. And this other one is behind his head, which will be obscured. And those two are working together. And, now, and then now that I know this works as an ensemble, I will go in and I will ink all this except I won't show what's behind his head, just her little fingers, you see, just her little hands and fingers that come out like that, for instance. And then this elbow will come out, that arm will come out like this, and then, of course, this is Jim's head. You know, some, this, is, this is what will happen. And then this is her arm here. Right, and that's her shirt, and that's that. And that's her arm. So that's what I would do. I would just combine them now. But not yet, not until I get the entire business across. And here she is. So now Jim is being pulled in. And you see, I'm animating to her. I'm making Jim react to her, what she's doing. And soon she will be going backwards. And already Jim is being pulled. He's being pulled. I guess you need another drawing to see exactly how that will work, how that feels. And that will give us a greater sense of weight. You see that she pulls him, he he's he doesn't do any is she's moving him. And of course the other thing is getting this feeling that she's in love with him and he's getting quite excited by the expectations they're out in the woods and camping so um, we animate multiple characters working in a scene one at a time you don't have to we don't have to give it all away at once and see she he's really reacting to her it really depends on what she's doing and like I demonstrated earlier, we will simply clean all this up. That's her arm here. Her hand comes out here around his neck instead of strangling him. But I'm sure that can come at any time if you, you're in a relationship. You know how that goes. And uh, her arm is on his shoulder. And then what's also great about this process is that you could adjust... You could adjust when they're together like this. And you see his shirt here and his other shirt and his hand is here. And this is her lovely bosom. And her hair is here. I mean, this kind of thing. I'm just showing that that's how I, that's how we went about doing this scene. And I love it. I, I really love it. This is the stuff that I, I live for. Not live for, please. That's a little bit too much. What is this? Oh, I don't even have a... Well, I guess this is where I was. This is where I stopped. Yeah, this is where I stopped. Okay, so uh, she's going to continue this way. I hope that's useful. Now, um, I wanted also to share these storyboard pages. Uh, I inscribed them... And I, it's Howl, If You Love Me, and they're really quite beautiful. This one here is, what is that, 11 of 153. Each one's original, and it's for a donation. Also, you could also donate by, and you get one of these uh, DVDs as a gift. You just go to the website. And um, Socrates, anything more to say? Yes, I like animation. Stay Animated.